My name is Neil Patwari, this is EC5510 Random Processes, and the topic of this video is the properties of multivariate Gaussian random vectors. And there are three important properties that we're, we want to keep in mind when we're working with Gaussian random vectors. The first one is that the marginal PDFs, when we have a Gaussian random vector PDF, and we take a marginal PDF, that marginal PDF is also going to be Gaussian. So the statement is any marginal PDF of a Gaussian multivariate Gaussian random vector is also a Gaussian random vector. So for example, if I have a random variable x that's equal to x1 and x2, and I write down the, and I know the PDF f of x, when I find the PDF, the marginal PDF of x1, um, of x1, so there shouldn't be a um, there shouldn't be an underline there. So if I find the marginal PDF of x1, or if I find the marginal PDF of x2, both of these are going to also be Gaussian random variables, and they're going to have a Gaussian PDF. The second property is that any uh, conditional random variable conditioned on some event xi being equal to some other number uh, is going to be a Gaussian random variable. Okay, so if I say what is the PDF of x2 given the event that x1 is equal to some value? little x1, then that PDF of x2 given x1 is going to be a Gaussian PDF for x2. Okay, so the third property is that any linear combination so any linear combination of a Gaussian Gaussian, let me do this, Gaussian <laughs> random vector is also a Gaussian random vector. Okay, so in particular, uh, here are some examples. If I say y is equal to x1 plus x2. That's a linear combination. I've added two things together. That PDF of y is going to be Gaussian. I could have also said y is equal to a times x1 plus b times x2. If I had more than two random variables in my random vector, I could have said y is equal to a1 times x1 plus a2 times x2 plus lots of different multiple uh, constants multiplied by my random variables, so up to a n times x n. Any, for any constants a, I would have another Gaussian random vector. And in fact, if I had some other Gaussian random vector, let's call w vector, be a new random variable, a new random vector, excuse me, and I multiplied it by a matrix a, and so that matrix transformed my random vector x into another random vector w. That random vector w is also going to be multivariate Gaussian. And these three properties are going to be key because when we want to find the distribution of y or w or x2 given x1 or the distribution of any one of my random variables by itself, just knowing that they're Gaussian is going to help me find what they are and it's going to make it a very speedy process. So next, um, in, an, in another lecture, we're going to talk about 
how to find the covariance matrix of W and how to find um, the, the variance or covariance of X1 or X2 given uh, the information that I have about my random vector X.